pretty large tornado oh, about God. six God. miles God. northeast of us. In the U.S., tornadoes kill, on average, about 70 people a year and injure close to 1,500 and cause countless millions of dollars in damage. They occur in all 50 states but are more prevalent in the springtime in an area of the Midwest known as Tornado Alley. To better understand tornadoes, scientists like Yvette Richardson, with the help of the National Science Foundation, are embarking on a quest to unravel the mysteries of tornadoes. This will hopefully give us the knowledge we need to improve warnings, to maybe improve forecasts, to improve our, our general understanding of how something works always arms us better. The project is called Vortex 2. For five weeks in 2009 and again in 2010, 100 researchers and scientists from 16 universities will deploy about 40 vehicles armed with high-tech equipment. They'll crisscross the Midwest in search of tornadoes, all to better understand how, when, and why they form. So we'll measure size distributions of precipitation that's falling inside the storms. Uh, we're trying to determine the role that that might play in, in aiding tornado genesis. Vortex 2 will also examine the winds inside a tornado near ground level. Well, the lower levels are important because that's where we live, and those are the winds that impact us, and those are the winds we have very little information about. And safety is a concern. Researchers are required to have an escape route for each storm they encounter. And then there's the challenge of being away from home. And it is rough on the family, uh, but they're also very, very supportive because they understand that we're all involved in trying to do something that will benefit them, benefit our communities. Researchers will often be working 14-hour days or longer, fueled by a common passion. You really have to just step back and have great respect for the ability of nature to do something like that. For Science Nation, I'm Bruce Burkhardt.